The goal of crowd control is to survive. Good luck. Survive against a horde of hiss. Huh, that wasn't what I expected. Well, wasn't what I expected it would be. Thought they'd hold off on exploding while I took over their minds. There's a lot of waves, huh? God, shotgun just sucks. Oh, fuck. Oh no, sniper.
Cloud of debris versus cloud of debris. This is probably not going to work out well. That's actually working out really well. Got a healing thingy. What else can you throw at me? That, whatever that was, what the fuck was that? Oh, I think it was that. Oh god. <laughs> Seriously great theme music. Way too short though. Wow. Games are so realistic these days. <laughs> I got a bunch of mods and I'm not sure what else. Wish it stayed on the screen for longer. Shroom 2 is an altered item that allows Jesse to revisit unique enemies she has encountered before and take another trip to the ashtray maze. Hmm. We gotta do it, right? And can we like just keep playing the first shroom, I guess? I wonder if there's any special rewards for doing it multiple times, or if it's just, you know, the normal rewards you'd expect from killing enemies. I don't know, but let's play Shoom 2. Ooh. Former?
get a lot of mods. Three of them. Uh, what level is the orange again? Level four. So not bad, but not like amazing. Just curious what kind of stuff we have. Conceptual material. Shaded facet and confiscated motive. So those are new materials for the DLC. What do our missions look like? We got the ones that we got from Ahti. The mold, the darkness, and the plants. Of course, the main mission. Oh, I haven't read this. The Shum Arcade Cabinets. Both items were purchased from a closing arcade in Michigan as part of a program to improve employee well-being through recreation. The program was canceled before any game machines were dispersed throughout the oldest house, but not before these altered items were discovered. Teams in the research sector have voiced considerable interest in the items due to the fact that they only exhibit an altered effect when physically paired together, a codependent relationship previously unseen in altered items. However, after proving the item's altered status, the investigators, uh, investigation staff insisted on keeping them, claiming they're important for sector morale. To date, numerous petitions have been filed by research sector personnel to move the items there for more extensive analysis. Mm -hmm. Analysis. <laughs> I just want to play games. Fair. Ah, oh, we got a new entry on the ones that float around with guns in the air. Um, Hiss Ranger Airborne. This subgroup of Hiss Corrupted Rangers has manifested the ability to levitate, similarly to Hiss Elevated Agents. However, these airborne Hiss Rangers display no telekinetic abilities and simply continue to use mundane bureau weaponry. This evolution, being so similar to the elevated, possibly indicates that Hiss can share permutations through a type of network or perhaps osmosis. However, the fact that this development in Hiss Rangers has only been observed in the investigation sector may indicate that an environmental factor is responsible. They could be responding to an altered item or other paranatural element found only in that sector. Or perhaps this is the natural progression of the Hiss Ranger phenotype. Not enough time has passed to determine a conclusive trajectory of development for each of the Hiss manifestations, assuming any such trajectory exists. Wait, I already tried that, didn't I? Yeah, and I tried that painting too. <laughs> I just love that music. Should I defeat, like, all the other bosses? Is anything special gonna happen? Maybe. But it also says it allows you to revisit important, like, big fights. But the thing is, there's almost certainly gonna be big fights in this DLC itself that I have yet to encounter. So I feel like even if I do everything that's in the machine right now, it's not really going to be everything, you know? But maybe you don't have to do everything for something special to happen. I don't know. Whoop. Let me just remind myself on where the hell I am. I've kind of lost track. Right. Right. Okay. Oh, what the heck? Let's do more. The anchor. Remember the thing like opens up and I have to shoot it when it does that? Yeah, when it does that, but it needs to be pointing towards me. I thought it always pointed at me. I guess not. Is there a pattern to which direction it's aiming? It might just be going counterclockwise? I 
I think it might just be going clock, or I guess I would be clockwise, not counterclockwise. So it should aim here next. And then it'll aim here next. Oh, fuck. I got some level 6 mods, I think. Jesus. Those rewards are so good. Let's take a look at what I got. I think there are personal mods. And, um, let's actually go through a refresher on, like, what is my loadout? I haven't really looked at it in a while. So, personal stuff. We have, um, launch energy cost minus 24, energy recovery speed plus 38%, and health recovery on launch hits plus 18%. That one is so good. I've been using it, I mean, all the time. Anytime I'm hurt. I just launch a bunch of stuff. I kind of launch a bunch of stuff anyway. And then it just heals me. That one's amazing. So, this is new. Health recovery on melee hits. No. Launch speed. Launch speed on launch kills. Wait, what does that mean? Launch speed on launch kills. Launch speed boost. I don't understand what that means. Seize. Evade cost on dealing shield ability damage. 19% less energy cost or whatever. None of these are probably worth using. Yeah. I really don't understand what that launch speed on launch kills thing means. Doesn't sound terribly useful though. Like maybe if you kill an enemy that makes your future launches for a certain amount of time buffed in their speed, like how fast they hit. Maybe something like that. I don't know. Not too many exciting weapon mods. Yeah, let me switch out Shatter with something else. Yeah, let's go with Charge. That's the one that shoots rockets slash grenade things. I guess they're more like rockets, honestly. Because they don't bounce or anything like that. So I've got a plus 153% damage against enemy armor, and then two roughly 50% damage increases. So about double damage pretty much is what we're doing with charge. Mold 1. Was that the giant worm thing? If I remember right, that was really difficult at the time. It was, but at the time I couldn't heal from just getting launch hits, so hopefully it'll be easier.
feel almost overpowered. Am I overpowered? <laughs> Fight the reverse me. through these a lot faster than I thought. Uh, feedback loop? I don't even remember which one that is. <laughs> Defeat four of the oldest house's toughest enemies in sequence. Ah, okay. Four. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Christ, something heal me, please. There we go.
Okay, just one more. Heck yeah! Alright, for something like that, there's gotta be some sort of pretty special reward, I hope. Expect? Oh, yes! Oh, some pink ones. Is that even higher level than, um... Is that level 5 or was that, like, a, a different thing? No, I think that was level 5. Yeah, okay, we got a couple of fives and level sixes. Um, show me the new ones. Evade cost on element pickup minus 29%. Hmm. Hmm. I might have moused over the other new one, I'm not sure. But if I sort by new, the first two ones should be those two new ones we got. Or one new one. I don't remember how many. Projectiles fired plus 11 for Shatter. Too bad I don't like Shatter. Oh! This is for charge. Blast radius plus 99%. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, What do I want to replace? Damage against enemy armor? Or just damage? Hmm. I guess just damage? That's really good. That is so good. Almost double the blast radius. Jesus Christ. I forget. Can it hurt me? Yes. So I really need to be careful with this. Look at that. Look at that range. Let's see. When does it hurt me? There. There. That hurt me. <laughs> Ashtray maze. Meow, meow. Do we get to listen to the music again? Yes.
no god, I left- I, I got through too fast, didn't get to hear, like, the whole song. Such a fucking awesome song, I love this game. I know I'm just replaying stuff, I'm just like, reusing content or whatever, but it's so great, I don't care. Okay, so I think that's all we can do for now. Didn't seem like I, I got anything super special from that. Oh, wait. There's Ray. There's more with this one. We did crowd control. Deadline. Eliminate 50 enemies without letting the timer run out. Each killed or seized enemy has five seconds to the timer. Okay. Somehow I think that's not going to be a problem at all. It's really hard not to accidentally hurt yourself, huh? I keep hurting myself a little bit. I saw vigorous dodge efficiency. Evade cost on element pickup. Oh, that's what that is, right? So what's the difference between the challenge and just the normal one? Now that I did deadline, now it shows up as a 
challenge. Let's try the deadline challenge. I think I'll do this off camera because I suspect it's exactly the same. Oh, each killed or seized enemy only has three seconds to the timer. Okay, so it's just, it's a harder version of it. Okay, then I won't cut this out. No, 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 no. Fuck. Ah. Oh. That's the hardest part is when there's like one enemy left and you can't find him and then the, if you don't kill them, the next wave won't spawn. Ugh. I do have an idea though. I think most of the enemies I'm attacking don't have all that much armor. So I'm thinking, what if I replace this damage against enemy armor with just damage? 52% damage. That should be great, right? And also, I don't really have time to use... Pierce. I need something faster. I don't know if anything else really is faster than just using charge. Probably not. Hmm. Launch energy cost is really important. Keeping that down. Energy recovery speed is really important. Health recovery is really important. I don't think I want to change any of those. Oh yeah, that's more damage. Yeah, like, the majority of the enemies don't have any armor at all. And for the ones that do, that damage increase does still help. Not as much as it would if I had the, um, plus 150% armor damage, but still.
Yes! <laughs> Health boost, damage boost. Oh, I got a damage boost that was purple. <gasps> Oh my god, it's plus 100% damage. That's literally twice as good as the ones I have. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, this weapon is absurd. So overall, it has about 150% more damage and doubled the blast radius. Jesus. That's absurd. I love it. Did we get any here? Weapon reload after seizing enemy health. Was that new? Plus 45% health? Uh, do I have a health one? I don't. But I think that's really good. Uh, we had a 42%. So 45% is good, but it's not like it's earth shattering compared to what we had before. God, that would be a lot more health. Hmm. I just don't want to get rid of any of the things I have. Okay. Crowd control should be the last one. I don't think we'll have any trouble with crowd control now. Christ. No time limit. You can take my sweet time. I really gotta watch out for self damage. Killed him with splash damage.
Oh, you gotta be kidding me. The thing... Oh, I didn't know that thing was coming? Shit. Oh, that's gonna take so long to do again. I think I blew myself up at the end, too. Yes! God, that took a long time. Doo -doo. Only got a couple things for that. Critical dodge efficiency of 8 cost when at critical health, minus 25%. And... Headshot damage plus 113%. Don't really want to use either of those, to be honest. Okay, is that all the games? Yeah, that's all of them. Whew. Well, I think that's a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, I think I'm going to head back to the executive sector and see if Emily has anything new to say about all this stuff that's been happening. <laughs>